what the hell did you say dot com? Okay, what the hell did you say? Right? Yeah. I want to know if working in Disney is like being in Disneyland. Is it super cool or is it a lot of work? It's super cool, a lot of work. <laughs> it, being at, at Disney, have, you've never been to Disney Studios. No, I have been. I have been the roller coaster and with Mickey Mouse. Uh -huh. it. Well, it's it's kind of like a um, picture. All of these extremely creative people, all focused, hyper focused on what they're doing, all in the same building at the same time. All the walls have paintings and artwork on them. Uh, when animators get together, they're talking about each other's acting and the performances and the characters that they're doing. It's when you step into that world, you're stepping into a real imaginary world. I mean, it's in our heads, but it's really happening. People are in tears. They fight. They they struggle over these things. So what you see on the screen is kind of like, oh, it's so much fun. There, we're living it. You know, that's. Like what if for me as an animator, uh, I'm an actor with a pencil. So anything, yeah, anything I can imagine, I can be, and I've been able to be uh, a, a mermaid or a beast or a Tarzan. You know, there's something about all these characters with a lot of hair. Rapunzel, I don't know what it is. Like I'm making up for some lack of something in my life. You know. That's the amazing thing. You have the power. Yeah, anything I can imagine. It's not limited by what I look like on the outside. How is for you? Because, you know, you do these movies that all the kids watch. And, and not only kids, like we adults watch. Like, I have never met any Disney movie. So you do all these big impact on people. How does that... I mean, it's also like a lot of responsibility, right? Well, it is. But, you know, I, I feel like if I do my job really well, I become invisible. It's about the characters, but I don't think I really understood that. So one day I tried to get into Disneyland with some friends, and I didn't have my Disney ID, and they wouldn't let me in. And I said to the guy at the gate, "Look, I don't have to say this, but you see the Little Mermaid? I did that. You know, Aladdin, the Beast." And the guy said to me, "I don't care who you are. You're getting a back of the line like everybody else." I got in and I sat down in the park. Everybody else wanted to go on a ride. I said, I just got to sit here. And I sat and I was just fuming on a park bench. And then the beast, the, the, the Disney park beast, comes walking over. And it's so ironic. I'm sitting on the bench and the beast oh, sits down next to me. And I look over and I'm thinking, I designed that guy. And they won't even let me into the park. And I say, Hi, Beast. And he, he looks at me. And I, uh, this is isn't it, this is so ironic. But then this family walks by with this little girl, and she says, "Beast!" and runs up and hugs him and kisses one of his tusks. And and I just thought, you know, I'm invisible. And that little girl believes the Beast is real. And that's what this is all about. And, and it was this, the most wonderful wonderful story you know message for me uh, I still hope the guy got fired but you know other than that you know <laughs> thank you for sharing such a beautiful story my and pleasure. my last thing I want to hear you the Spanish you want to hear my Spanish uh, como estas uh, Muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much.